Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. <laughs> I'm just giving our cactus plants a little drink. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You have to be very careful with cactus plants as they're very prickly. And lots of cactus plants grow in the desert where it's very, very hot. Phew! A great big sun, no clouds in the sky. No one about except my cactus and I. <laughs> And me! Hoo -hoo. I'm here too, partner! Hello, everyone! What are you doing, Ben? Ho ho! I'm a cowboy small. Cowboys sometimes ride around in the desert. Do they? Oh, yes, partner! Why do you keep calling me partner? <laughs> Cowboys do that too, small. They say, uh, how you doing, partner? And pass the beans, partner? And things like that. Oh, I want to be a cowboy too! Can I be a cowboy? Partner? You surely can, partner. Just hop on your horse, like this, and ride around like me. Yee-haw! Yippee-yay! Yippee-yay! Woo-hoo! <laughs> Why have you stopped? Cowboy hat small. We can't be proper cowboys unless we've got cowboy hats. You're right, Ben. <laughs> oh, we can't worry about that now, small. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way, partner. Who's our customer today, partner? She's got a check shirt, jeans, and a horse outside. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's Casey the cowgirl. Well done, Ben. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. I was at the big cowboy show with my friend Casey the cowgirl and her horse Star. She was going to enter a competition to round up some buffalo. We were really excited. But then something happened. Oh dear, one of Star's shoes has fallen off. I can't let Star enter the competition without his horseshoe. Then I had an idea. Come with me. And we hurried off to see my friend the blacksmith. A blacksmith is someone who fits iron shoes on horses' hooves to stop their feet getting hurt. Don't worry, Casey, he said. I'll make a new one. Soon he had the fire going and was hammering away until he'd made a lovely shiny new horseshoe. We had to stand in a safe place as the fire was hot, hot, hot. <laughs> the blacksmith soon fitted the new horseshoe, but we didn't know what to do with the old one. Then I had a brilliant idea. Horseshoes are supposed to bring good luck. So I fixed the old one to Star's saddle. Casey was really pleased. Then off we went to the competition. We were just in time. Yee-haw! yelled Casey, and Star ran like the wind. I really had to hang on. Casey was so good at rounding up the buffalo that she won the competition. Whoopee! That horseshoe really must have been lucky. <laughs> Three cheers for Casey, yelled the judges, and they gave her a prize. A lovely star badge to wear on her hat. And three cheers for Star, the fastest horse in the West. <laughs> and don't forget, three cheers for Little Cook Small and his lucky horseshoe. Little Cook to the rescue once again. <laughs> that was a great adventure. Wow, fancy rounding up all those buffalo. Casey is a clever cowgirl. Way! And Star's a very fast horse. And the lucky horseshoe was a great idea, too. I wish we had that lucky horseshoe right now. Why? Because it might help us think of what to cook for Casey. Hmm. Ooh. <sighs> I know, Big Cook 
Jack's big cookery book. Of course, the big cookery book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Here we are. Star Bean Burger. Made with buffalo cheese. Ooh, just the thing after a hard day herding buffaloes, partner. <laughs> Yeehaw, partner. Oh, perfect. Come on then, little cook. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need onion. Onion, over we go. Got the onion small. Garlic. Garlic, yep, that's here as well. Got it. Carrot. Over here, yep, carrots. Kidney beans. Kidney beans, got those, yep. Curry powder. In the cupboard as well. Lovely curry powder, yep. Oil. Here we go, got the oil small. Flour. Oh, that's here as well, in the cupboard. Got the flour, yep. Cherry tomatoes. Lovely red juicy cherry tomatoes, got them. And buffalo mozzarella cheese. Eh? Buffalo Ooh. mozzarella cheese. Well, here we are. There's everything else for the recipe. Now, I've heard of buffaloes, and I've heard of cheese, but I've never heard of buffalo mozzarella cheese. Well, why don't I whiz off and get some and find out how it's made? I think you better add, little cook, and I'll get everything ready. See you later. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoop. Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, this is beautiful. Hello there. Look at those horns. These animals are called buffaloes. And they're off to the milking parlour to be milked. This is the milking parlour. And this is the farmer. He's attaching some suction pipes to the buffalo's udders. The milk is sucked from the buffalo and collected. It's going to be used to make a cheese called mozzarella. The farmer adds an ingredient that turns the milk into curds and whey. Look! The milk is turned into curds and whey. The whey is the runny stuff and we don't need that. The curd is the lumpy bits. We use the curd to make the cheese. <laughs> Look at the curd. It's turned all stringy and stretchy. The curd has turned into cheese. It's a soft white cheese. It's called mozzarella. The cheese is divided into small ball-shaped pieces and stored in some water until it's packed. Now the cheese is packed and weighed and ready to go to the shops. That was great. See you later. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey, steady there, boy. <laughs> yeah! Hey, I'm back. Hello there, Small. Did you get the cheese? Oh, yes. And here it is. <coughs> Woo! Hey, hey, that's great. Buffalo cheese is made from buffalo's milk. And buffaloes are really big with big horns. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that sounds great, little cook. But we'd better get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Star Bean Burger? 
You do? There was onion, one, chopped. Garlic, one clove, chopped. Carrot, one, finely grated. Kidney beans, 225 gram tin, drained. Curry powder, one teaspoon. Oil, two tablespoons. Flour, two tablespoons. Cherry tomatoes, one, cut in half. And buffalo mozzarella cheese, two slices. Whoopee, let's get started. I'm going to turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. And that's a job for your grown-up helper to do, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. Now we can start on our bean burgers. So the first thing we need to do is mash up the kidney beans. You can do that for me, Small, while I fry the onions. Hey! Mashing, smashing! You can mash with a masher or a fork. I'm going to use a fork. Hoo-hoo! Mash, mash, mash! Hey, smashing, mashing, small. <laughs> now, I've started to heat the oil in a frying pan, and I'm going to add the onions and the garlic and fry them for a couple of minutes. And this is another grown-up helper job. Are those beans ready yet, small? Yep, partner. Hey, hey, thank you, partner. Wow, a very good job. Hoo-hoo. Mmm, the smell of frying onions. It makes me think about being a cowboy, sitting around the campfire and waiting for my dinner. Into the pan goes the carrot, the mashed up bean. Oh, quite sticky. Let's get it all in. There we are. The curry powder and the flour. And give it all a good old stir. Stir and stir and stir. Until it's all mixed up together. Now we have to let this cool down before the next bit, so pop it there. Turn off the heat, and now I'm going to make a cowboy hat. Hey! So to do this, you need a plain piece of paper or card. Fold it in half, like this, and then draw the shape of half a cowboy hat, like this. I wish I had a cowboy hat. Oh, me too, Small. Now, we can cut out the shape. Yee-haw! We go and open it. That's brilliant! A proper cowboy's hat. But you can't wear it. No, 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 Small. This is for the recipe. And just to finish it off, I'm going to draw a band across it, like this. There we go. And then I can pop it on a plate, ready for a star bean burger. Hey, I've had an idea. <laughs> what are you up to, Small? <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> The mixture's cooled down now, so we can carry on with the recipe. I've placed a star-shaped cutter onto a greased baking tray, and I'm going to spoon in the mixture. Like this, until the star is full. Perfect! Yee-haw! <laughs> Carefully press down with a spoon and then we can gently remove the cutter. There, a star. Now we need to pop it into the oven for 10 minutes. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. On there, open it up, and pop it in. And remember, that's a job for your grown-up helper to do, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. I'll set the timer for 
ten minutes. There we go. Oh, it smells lovely. Yee-ha! Do you like my hat, Ben? It's great, Small. <laughs> right, now, ask your grown-up helper to put two slices of buffalo mozzarella cheese onto your bean burger. But you can use any cheese you like. Like this. And then pop it back into the oven until the cheese has melted. So, oven gloves on. And back into the oven it goes. Yee-haw! I'm a cowboy in a cowboy calf. Woo! -hoo. Oh, you're a good cowboy, Small. I wish I had a hat. I'll make you one, Ben, whilst the cheese melts. The cheese has melted now, and I've placed the bean burger onto the cowboy hat. And just to finish it off, I'm going to put half of the cherry tomato on there, like that. And there we have it. One cowboy hat with a cowboy badge. Hey! How's my hat coming along, Small? It's ready, Ben. Here you are. Oh, thanks, Small. Ooh. <laughs> I think it's a bit too tiny for me, little cook. <laughs> oh, I so wanted my very own cowboy hat. But never mind. We better get this through to Casey. One star bean burger coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes. And it looks like Casey enjoyed her star bean burger. Look, Small. She's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My star bean burger was delicious. <laughs> yee -ha! To say thank you, here's my cowboy hat for Ben. I hope it fits. From Casey the Cowgirl. Wow, Small! Look! Ho! Oh, it's my very own cowboy hat! Yee-ha! Let's hit the trails, partners! Ho oh, ho! See you soon, partners! See you soon, partners! Yee-ha! Yee-ha! Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone! Look for everyone!